Yo, what's up guys? So we're here to check out the new Yu-Gi-Oh! archetype, the Hakai's, and they have some insane effects. But the thing is, is that there is a huge downside to them, which is basically the turn one play. Now, a lot of people are saying that this archetype is broken and it's the next best deck, and there are other people saying that it is complete trash. Well, I don't think the deck is complete trash. I will say that the effects are insane if you can pull them off. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Uh, and start off with the uh, basic monsters, then we'll obviously check out the entire archetype. But anyways, the Hakai Doji Ara over here, which is a level 3 Fire Fiend effect monster, uh, with 1500 attack and defense points over here. And it says, you can only use this card's names first and second effects once per turn each. The first effect is, you get to target one card you control, destroy it, and if you do, special summon this card from your hand. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except for fiend monsters which is not that bad and then the second part of the effect is if this card in the field is destroyed by battle or card effect except for by its own effect you can special summon another hakai monster from your hand or deck except for itself so basically you're going to be able to get out another monster so that's a pretty decent little effect over there then the uh next card is the hakai doji Rakia. Again, they might change the name, by the way, in the TCG when these finally come out, but another 1515 level 3 water uh, fiend. And it says you can only use this card's name first and second effects once per turn each. The quick effect is you get to target one card you control and destroy it. Also, you can't special some monsters for the rest of this turn except for fiend monsters. And if this card in the field is destroyed by battle by card effect, uh, except by its own, you can special summon another Hakai monster except for itself. So basically, pretty much the same bread and butter uh, effects of both of them and they have the same stats. So basically, not, nothing too crazy yet, but here's where we finally get one of their really good cards. We have the Hakai Shin no Magatama over here, which is going to be a uh, level 8 dark fiend monster with uh, 0 attack and 3,000 defense points. And it says, you can only use this card's second and third effects once per each. So the first effect is, it gains 3 attack for each Hakai card in your graveyard. The uh, second effect is you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls immediately after this effect resolves. Link summon one Dark Link monster using only that opponent's monster and this card you control as the material. The third effect is if this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can target a Hakai monster graveyard and special summon it. So you can kind of re-go back into some of the uh, combo here. Um, obviously you can't use the same one once per turn. But the thing is, is the next card over here is obviously a Link Monster that more likely you're going to be trying to go into, at least at the start, unless they have a Link Monster. Uh, but this is a Dark Link Fiend effect uh, with a Link 2 with 1800 attack and the zones are on the top and the bottom. It requires two materials including a Hakai Shin Monster, which is uh, obviously uh, like the more, I guess, powerful versions of it, but they're still part of the Hakai archetype. Anyways, um... You can only use this card's first and second effects once per turn each. During your opponent's main phase, as a quick effect, you get to target one face-up special monster your opponent controls. Immediately after this effect resolves, Link summon one Dark Link monster except uh, Hakaishin uh, Ragia, which is the, the card itself, using only that opponent's monster in this card you control as materials. The second effect is, if this card on the field is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you get to target one fiend monster in graveyard except for itself and add it back to your hand so then you can reoccur uh, your a combo uh, again hopefully <laughs> um, so now we have a little bit of potential for again turn one plays where you're able to kind of disrupt what your opponent can do now the next card over here is actually going to be a link three so this is the hakaishin arba over here let's zoom it up on the picture so link three 2400 attack link zones are in the top bottom left and bottom right and requires two monsters including a Hakaishin monster it says you can only use this card's name first and second effects once per turn each the uh, first effect is uh, you can target a face-up monster opponent controls and immediately after this effect resolves you get to link summon one dark link monster except for uh, Hakaishin uh, Ariba using only that opponent's monster and this card you control as the material and then if this card is on the field to destroy a battle of a card effect, you target any fiend monster in graveyard and add it to your hand. So basically they have the same effect. However, this is the one problem that I see with the archetype. This as a quick effect, absolutely amazing. But this effect, 
not quick effect. That's where the problem lies already in the deck. And again, you're gonna have to use those as stepping stones. So basically, you can think of it as like, you go into the uh, Magatama, you absorb one, go into this card, you absorb another card, um, potentially, again, it's during your opponent's uh, main phase, and then this card, you have to wait another turn, again, unless, of course, there was an error, and it's supposed to be a quick effect, then we're looking at something much better, um, but that's, like, the main problem that I already see right now, but don't wait, uh, or not don't wait, <laughs> hold on, we're not done yet, because we have more cards to go into, uh, but, uh, again, next up, though, we have the Hakai So Ocean Raigu. So it's a Link 4 Dark Fiend Link Effect monster with 3,000 attack, and its links are in the top, bottom left, bottom, and bottom right, and across two monsters, including a Link monster. And it says you can only use this card's name first, second, and third effects once per turn each. If card or cards in the field are destroyed by a card effect other than uh, Hakai Soshin Raigui, um, oh, so, so or we'll just call him Raigui, uh, Raigui? Uh, but anyways, you can target one card in the field and destroy it. Then, the second effect is when a, a, another monster is destroyed by battle, you get to target one card on the field and destroy it. And then during the end phase, you get to target another card on the field and destroy it. So, making this allows you to go in for a lot more plays and on top of that adds some destruction. Uh, but sometimes destruction is not the best thing, sending cards that are non-targeting is obviously much better. So there's another aspect of the archetype where it kind of falls short compared to, again, some of the other archetypes like going for a Din Girsu on your opponent's turn. Uh, it just really lacks that, um, I would say. But hold on, let's check out the rest of the cards before we uh, finish this off and say that they're just meh. But um, the Shackles of the... Uh, so Is it so so -E -O? Um It's a normal spell card that says you can only use this card's first and second effects once per turn each. The first effect is to add any Hakai card from your deck hand. So bam, you have consistency. Second effect. If this set card is destroyed by a card effect, you can special Hakai mods from your deck. I was like, whoa, this is actually pretty good, uh, considering maybe you can you can incorporate a lot of things. Um, even some like the, if you want to do Metal Foes, True Kings. But remember that there's the downside. Remember, you can only go for Fiends, so th there's... There's that also, so it, it kind of sucks for that. Um, but anyways, uh, the Whale of the Hakaishin over here is a um, continuous spell card that says, you can only use this card's name first and second effects once per turn each. The first effect is if you link summon a Hakai monster, you can turn one card on the field and destroy it. So that adds a lot more uh, abilities again to the uh, disruption. And again, remember, you can just go ahead and add any Hakai card from your deck to your hand. Um, then the second effect is, if the set card is destroyed by a card effect, you can just push on a Hakai monster from your deck. Like, these are insane effects! Like, there's no restrictions on, like, oh, it has to be uh, under a certain level or stuff like that, but, uh, insane. And then next up we have the Hakai Homily. So, uh, it is a normal trap card that says you can only use this card's name first and second effects once per turn each. The first effect is to target a Hakai monster you control in one card in the field, destroy both of those cards. Excellent, that allows you to uh, obviously use both of these effects, right? Um, and then the second effect is if the set card is destroyed by a card effect, you can special number uh, one Hakai monster in your deck. Again, insane effects over here. Might have to uh, side deck that Mirror of Oaths for this archetype. Uh, but then, even then, you're, you're, even though you get a draw, like they still get their effects, which is insane. Um, but anyways, next up we have the Hakai Dual uh, Dirge over here, which is a uh, normal trap card that says, you can only use this card's name first and second effects once per turn each. The first effect being you get to special summon a Hakai monster from your hand or graveyard. Um, the second effect is if the set card is destroyed by a card effect, you can special summon a Hakai monster from your deck. So we obviously see this archetype is all about the special summons. And if you were just somehow able to disrupt uh, that one play, they might not necessarily have a follow-up play until the next turn. And again, the, the disruption, okay, if we're talking about turn one plays, because that's basically what everyone's arguing with, is what could you do turn one? They obviously see this monster face up, and um, as that quick effect, that's a really good quick effect, though. I mean, just being able to go from uh, a Ragia, uh, Ragia into uh, the next card, basically, again, as a stepping stone. The problem is, is this card doesn't have the quick effect, so basically, they force out some type of negation, right? Uh, or basically they're absorbing your monster and they're gonna make this. What does this monster do? This monster, when it's destroyed, they get to just target the fiend, add it back to my hand. I mean, oh, by the way, I believe Skarm can actually search out um, this because they are both, uh, well, these, these two because they're level three. But like, 
the, the turn one playing this deck is relatively mediocre. You go pretty minus to, I guess, throw up just, what, this and pass. Whereas if you look at other archetypes where you're looking at, like, the Thunder uh, Dragon Dangers or Orcus or any of these other decks, they have usually, like, two to three negations. Whereas this, we're kind of looking at one. Yes, however, you could argue that they happen to have these as other options. Um, if... For whatever reason, they have another card that lets you just set a spell and trap from your deck uh, in the middle of this. Like, if, like for example, uh, if one of these cards had the ability to, after it was destroyed, uh, set one and also special summon. But I think at that point we're asking for too much. Because, again, just getting out two of those and then making this, you're using two cards for, like, may maybe, it's a maybe also, uh, one negate. Whereas other decks, you just have better options turn one. However, the other argument is like, yo, if my opponent makes a board, I can just go ahead and absorb going to something and then absorb going to something. But like, remember, this is during your opponent's main phase. Uh, again, realistically trying to go into all of these is more than likely not going to be happening in the game, uh, is, is what I'm trying to say. Consistently going for them. I mean, they have some consistency with like, being able to search out whatever. Um, but obviously, I gave you guys my thoughts on it. I think the deck has so much potential. Um, but again, it doesn't have that turn one GG no replay. Uh, whereas, like, again, when, when you have, like, the uh, Thunder uh, Danger variants where they can have, like, Celestial Spheres, and then there's no searching, and then on top of that, a hot red dragon, you're looking at just not on the same playing field. But it's not bad. It's just if these were a little bit faster and, like, setting, setting is just too slow, and the monster that it has to um, be destroyed by a card effect, you already know it's going to be sent to the graveyard with Din Gears, so you already know um, it's just going to get disrupted. At least that's how I feel about it. This day and age, you got to be super, super fast with Yu Gi Oh! But I don't think the archetype is trash. Uh, I think it just needs some time, and it's still, even as of right now, I would say it's an okay. It's not what I would consider tier zero. But anyways, I'm going to be giving you guys some gameplay of this very soon. So if you're new to the channel here and want to see gameplay of the Hakai's, like I said, subscribe to the channel and you'll definitely see it very soon. But that's my thoughts on it. Again, a lot of people are talking about this. Because Amar and Sess, uh, well, they did get a bunch of support. I, I don't think they're on the same level. If I was to say Amar and Sess or Hakai's, I'd, I'd have to go with Hakai's. But uh, anyways, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you guys think the archetype is broken or do you think it's meh? Is it uh, absolute trash? And why also uh, in the comment section below. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Like I said, if you're new here or uh, want to see gameplay of the Hakai's, it'll be up very soon. But if you guys want to send me any replays of the Hakai's, I would love to see what you would mix this in also because as of right now, even if you slammed three of every single copy of the cards, you'd have to mix it into an archetype. And if they get more uh, of the different colors, and, uh, you know, a lot, again, I just think that it needs to be able to, like, set one instantly so you have another disruption, because that's what every Yu-Gi-Oh deck needs. They need five negates, or it's, otherwise, uh, you're gonna get wrecked anyways. Or at least, like, two to three. That's just, that's just Yu-Gi-Oh 2019, my bet. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace.